If you're like me, growing up, you played a game like this called SimCity. And I think it's really influencing how we do transportation planning today. And I'm going to tell you why. Then once you build a transportation network, well, then you got to tell the, the city what you're allowed to build there. But typically, you would have your road and you say, ah, oh, I'm going to build an area here. I'm going to allow developers to build residential areas. And in cities, right, we typically have zones that are allowable land uses. And they're much more complicated than, than just this. And, okay, I want to build businesses. So maybe I'll do some shopping. I'll put that over here. Uh, I also think I want a place where people can, well, where we can make stuff. So I think I'm going to put that over here. Now, I want you to look at how this is split up. Transportation isn't about the generation of trips. It's about the completion of activities. We desire to do things. We desire to go shopping. We desire to work. And transportation is what enables those things. So why am I showing you this? Well, for, right, for 100 years, we have been developing our cities in such a way that we put a fairly unique land use. We want to keep our residences away from where we shop and away from polluting industries. And in this game, these residential areas, these houses, won't develop as well if they're right next to an, an industrial area. But what does that mean for transportation? Well, you've got people that live here, shop here and work here hmm what are they going to drive i think probably in this game they will they're going to get in their cars they're going to go over here and do their shopping probably come back home go over here do the go for work go for lunch back here and back home again so think about the kind of travel that's now being generated by this one way we can reduce this travel demand right is well let's put these zones closer together Ah, we'll get a road here. Pretty quick, right? We build it. And I'm going to put some shopping right there. Good, right? It's a lot closer. Now, what is that going to mean for transportation? So in some cases, right, If I the way I've built here, pretty small lots, we've got houses that are right onto sidewalks, so pretty walkable area. They can maybe walk over to here, this, this commercial zone. But let's look at some of the bigger, more suburban kind of developments, right? We've got a big parking lot. We've got an um, office building here, and we have got some residences. What are they going to do? Are they, they're not going to cut. There's, there's really not a great way for them to get to this area, right? They're going to have to go out on the street and then over here and park. This game is essentially replicating what happens so much, I think, in a, in a suburban development kind of mindset, which is, we put these zones right next to each other, but we're not thinking about when they're together, how people are going to get from this area to this area and take advantage of their proximity. So I'm going to show you some examples that in the city I live, Fredericton, and maybe some thoughts about how we might be able to improve this. And I want to zoom in on one of the fastest growing developments in Fredericton. So let's get our little person here and let's go on street food just to kind of get a sense of this neighborhood. All right, we have a bunch of condos and apartment buildings. Uh, we've got some uh, garden homes here. All right, we've got some sidewalks here. We don't really see where how they're connected to this building, but it looks like they kind of go around. And if we zoom out a little bit, you can see that these things are kind of everywhere, right? These large areas here in homes. If we go back to the SimCity planning kind of concept, what do we got? Residential, residential, residential. Oh, but in the middle here, what do we got? This here is a business, right? This is a place where people work. So we've got kind of a commercial area right here. So if this was SimCity, you'd have green, 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 and then a big blue block right here. Oh, what do we have over here? Oh, we've got some more residential areas, or commercial areas. So we've got a place where you can get some breakfast, and this has all been kind of completed since since this map has come out. 
there's something about this that just I just can't quite put my finger on in terms of what I, I don't like about it. And I that I think, I think it's the fact that we've got these pods of development that are very much like that SimCity game, right? What kind of thought are we do we have with respect to how how should this work as a neighborhood? And I think that's kind of the missing piece, right? All of these probably would have happened in in sequence, but are they all connected? Are they all working together? Well, I'm not so sure. I mean, we look. Remember the video I did on Go Pass? Well, there's a little one there, right? So we've got something missing here. We've got what I would say almost 100% automobile dependent development. And despite the fact we have sidewalks and everything that looks really, really nice, let's say I'm in this area here and I want to go get some breakfast over this nice new restaurant. All right, so I'm going to walk from here. Let's, let's do directions from here. And we're going to go over to this breakfast place. What's Google going to tell me? It is an 11 minute walk. All right, it's a three minute drive. Let's look at walking. What does it tell me here? Interesting, huh? It's directing me to the periphery of the development, out and around. It is, it's a 900 or 800 meters is what this is telling me. 800 meters to walk from there to there. Now, do you think people are going to do that? Well, probably. What are they going to do? Go from here. What does the straight line distance tell us? Well, let's just say you could walk right to it. What's that, 340 meters? So here we have the closest distance from this area is, is like 450 meters shorter than what is being told on Google Maps. And why is that? Because we've not prov have any provision for this area as a neighborhood. It is a series of developments. So what does that mean for things going forward? It means that we probably need to put more thought into how these areas are going to be connected when they are done. But we are introducing way more travel distance than needs to be because of that missing piece here. So I guess that leads to the question of, of how can we fix something like this? Like, how can we envision it differently? I think there's some really good examples, and I'm going to fly us over to the city of Dieppe and the development around their city hall. In this case, we do have a bit of parking, but most of it is underground or under this structure. What do I like about this? We have this, this multi-use development and that, that is centered on a plaza and, and cars are at the periphery and pedestrians are at the center of this. So it's pretty straightforward to walk into, into City Hall or to go into the plaza here in the middle and when I see this, when I think of the kind of development that is that has happened here, a lot of urban planners will have their own perspectives on, on what I just said there. Uh, and I think there's a lot more movement towards the concept of, of mixed use development, certainly more than there have ever has been. But we do need to put more thought into the transportation side of things when it comes to these developments so that we're not building problems that didn't exist before. So I'm going to do another video on how we've introduced transportation problems to New Brunswick that didn't exist to the same degree before. But I just want you to put some thought into what should we be doing in terms of fostering the developments that make it so you don't have to drive everywhere. But driving is a choice. It is an option rather than a must do. And those decisions come from our land use planning and our transportation infrastructure plan. Thanks for listening.